Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Hopefully, you guys are having a great week. <clears throat> We've got some interesting things in the works today. Uh, quickly, just a look at the U.S. markets. Uh, overall, gold's down a bit, S&P's down a bit, uh, Dow's down a bit. It's been been kind of a down day uh, for for all of the markets. You can see everything's in the red there. Uh, we did have a little bit of news out today uh, with a few, uh, the, the U.S., uh, we saw the ISM manufacturing, we saw the manufacturing PMI as well for the U.K. Um, now coming out of Australia, we have the building approvals, uh, which will be probably a zero to no event. Uh, but at 7.30 p.m. Pacific, we're going to have the Australia interest rate announcement, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and this is going to be a big deal because there is a lot of chatter that we may see a full half point deduction. You can see that the, the market is expecting and pricing in uh, a quarter of a point reduction from the current rate, 3.25% with a drop to, three point, uh, to, to just 3% flat. If the rate is not cut, the Aussie dollar will rally like crazy. Um, if it's cut more than 3.25%, for example, uh, 2.75%, we should see a major, major uh, drop uh, on Aussie yen, Aussie dollar. Um, and even with uh, even with a cut to three percent, uh, we could still see in the uh, you know over the several hours afterwards uh, some big runs down in the Aussie dollar as well. So just keep that in mind um, coming up. So that is what we have coming up, uh, and then coming into tomorrow for the UK session uh, tonight, you can see that we have uh, some European news, uh, construction news uh, out of UK, just kind of a little bit of random stuff there. So keep an eye on that. Okay, so couple of interesting setups. We're just going to kind of buzz through a few of these. There's only one thing I want to talk about on the pound and really uh, one thing about uh, on, on one of these other pairs. And we're going to spend most of our time on the euro dollar, euro yen, Aussie dollar, Aussie yen. So the euro dollar, um, basically what I'm looking at here, there, there's the information that I'm sure all of you guys have uh, seen going around. And that is about uh, how December for the last 10 or 12 years has been more positive on the euro dollar than not. Uh, something like 75% positive on the euro dollar, 25% uh, uh, negative. So overall, we kind of expect the euro dollar to rally during the month of December if history repeats itself. Uh, and so far, that looks pretty good. We, we've had uh, we had a nice big daily reversal candle here on the euro dollar. And we've just broken above that. We've already started December kind of with a bang here. So basically, it's pretty simple. I'm bullish against 130.10. That's that's it. I'm bullish against 130.10. This is a great level to trade against. We're going to start encountering some pretty intense resistance up here around 131.20 to 131.50. But against 130.10, I'm bullish. Uh, so what does that mean to all of us? We probably need to see some retracement. We need to see this pair pull back down towards 130.10. Uh, you know, maybe look for an entry around 130. Uh, 20, 30, somewhere in there, you know, so we're looking for 20 to 25 pips of retracement, and then I'm bullish against uh, this support now, which was an important breakout on this uh, one hour chart. So, again, some retracement here. A couple of things to point out, though, briefly, is that we have a weekly pivot that has been missed so far. Uh, so that will have a little bit of a gravitational pull on the euro dollar. And then we have a daily pivot from uh, Thursday of last week, which will also have a little bit of a pull, and that's about 125 pips away. So these things will definitely have some power to bring this pair back down towards that 130. Um, below 130, uh, the picture changes, and we start heading for the weekly pivot, which is about 129.70, and the missed daily pivot, which is about 129.30. So uh, as long as we can stay above 130.10, I'm bullish against 130.10. Stops below 130 uh, and uh, targeting around 130.100 is what I'm essentially looking for. Pound dollar, uh, we looked at the pound dollar this morning and it's starting off with a bang as well. We broke all of last week's highs and rallied like crazy. Away we go. Uh, and it's also broken 160.50, which has been an important significant level here. And you can see we're at about just shy of 161.100. Um, I am also bullish against 160.50. So as long as we stay above 160.50, I'm interested in buying. So I want to see some retracement, uh, again, of 20 to 30 pips. I want to enter as close to 160.50 as possible, as close as possible. Um, but against that area... Uh, is where I'd like to buy. There's a descending trend line that we've already broken out of and a support now at 161, that's about 160.60 ish area. So again, against 160.50, I am buying. 
Uh, euro yen, on the other hand, although the euro dollar and euro yen pairs tend to follow each other quite a bit, uh, the euro yen is starting to show some very early signs of exhaustion here. Now, if we ever get exhaustion on the euro yen, I'll be genuinely surprised. But, but we're starting to see a couple of things like consolidation. We're starting to kind of peak here, and the euro yen just doesn't want to seem to go a lot higher. Now, can it and will it? It definitely can. Uh, whether it will or not, we'll have to wait and see. Missed weekly pivot back here on the euro yen, one basically 10300. My main target at this point is 10450. Now that's only S2 on the weekly pivots. That's a 200-day moving average on the four-hour chart, and uh, that's major support from this daily chart right here, 10450-ish uh, area. So that's my main target. That's what I'm looking for on the retracement on the euro yen. If we get down into that area there, uh, you can see that we've got uh, uh, this weekly pivot, which currently sits about 50 or so pips away from current market price. Below the weekly pivot and below this trend line, I, st I start to turn into a big seller uh, into this 104.50. So there should be two solid 200 plus uh, pips uh, down into that 104.50 uh, area there. So we've got a nice little run. Uh, what to look for now is there's definitely an opportunity to trade against these highs, which were about 30, uh, just shy of 40 pips off these highs, and the highs currently sit at 107.66. 107.66. Um, and so there's there's definitely the opportunity to trade against these highs and start shorting this down into the weekly pivot, uh, which we could do, which is 50 plus pips. Nice little run there. And we have a missed daily pivot also on Thursday of last week, which is around 105, ju just about 10600, just about 10600. So two good things that we could start aiming for on the short side on this euro yen. Uh, so that's one thing I'm keeping an eye on. Keep that in mind there. Um, Aussie dollar, again, the Aussie dollar is a little bit all over the place, um, and I'm not going to do anything until after the news, uh, but our important levels, we're at 104, we're currently just shy of 104.30, our big level is still 105.00, so if we get a rally into 105.00, I would look for a bounce or a break at that area, but that's going to be our important resistance right now. We have some short-term resistance, uh, you can see coming through here, this daily pivot zone, this is about 104.45, 104.50, this will be worth keeping an eye on so watch for a break of that and run up into some of these upper levels but 10500 would be the big you know reversal level to trade this thing back down into 10200 otherwise if the news comes out as expected uh, and even more which is you know more of a cut on interest rates and I'd be looking for this Aussie yen I'd be trading it against 104.50 um, and against this daily or excuse me weekly pivot uh, down into our trend line as we can see here, and ultimately looking for a break and a run into the 200-day moving average, which takes us into just about 103.00, uh, with an ultimate target of 102.00. So that's just kind of what I'm what I'm looking for right now. Uh, but it's all going to depend on how the news goes. So the levels to remember right now are 105.00, which is only, like I said, about 70 pips away. Uh, 104.50, which is about 20-ish pips away. Um, and then uh, on on the downside, we've got uh, some crucial support around 103.20 and 103.50. Gold's just bumping around, not doing a whole lot, nothing too much to mention there. Aussie yen, we currently have a trade on the Aussie yen and we've locked in profit. So we entered off this bounce right here, 85.90. We barely got into that thing. We're sitting on, you know, 20 or so pips profit. It's been as high as 30 pips uh, and it's just hopping around here. We've locked in and we're ready for the news to come out. So if the news comes out and really takes it crazy, uh, we're going to be ready for that. We have a big bullish engulfing candle on the four hour chart uh, as we bounced off of support off the weekly, j just right around that weekly low of last week. <clears throat> And we've got some good stuff to be aiming for there. Remember that we have a missed weekly pivot as well uh, nearly two weeks ago on the Aussie yen, so that's going to be a big target to aim for. Uh, and you can see here, if we just kind of watch this trend line, you can see starting point tested, big bounce tested, smaller bounce. Uh, so below these lows, I really start to get bearish on this uh, uh, on this Aussie yen, and this is about uh, 85. Uh, 3540 right in that general area below this we start to aim for uh, 8400 so again about a hundred and you know 130 pip uh, run give or take but a very nice one one that I would happily take um, so that's what we're looking for on this one otherwise we've got these nice highs that we're trading against which are 8645 it's about 8645 uh, is our high 8640 right in that general area 
Uh, and so if we rally up to that, look for a bounce and or a break uh, once the news comes out. So be ready for those movements. We've got some great setups in the works. Best of luck, and we will be live in the chat for the Australian interest rate announcements later on today. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in the chat.